All right, looks like we're capturing. Okay, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the what sold video for the week of the 30th, uh, the 30th of July or June to the, I guess, 6th of uh, July. Um, so this, um, I'm not going to bury the lead here. This was not a good week. Um, I don't know if it's because of the holiday. Maybe people were um, out doing stuff with the uh, family. Um, or if... Um, oh, this is actually... Uh, let's get our picture of this dress up there. Um, or if it's... Um, maybe we just... We were busy. Um, my parents came up this week and we kind of just took the weekend off to relax and have some fun with the kids. So... Wasn't a great week for sales, but which means I do have to paddle this video so I get it to 10 minutes, <laughs> which is what all this is. So my procrastination is actually going to work to my advantage. All right. Now I didn't even bring up the Poshmark app on my phone to make sure that I was ready. See, I am completely unprepared for this video. Okay. All right. Let's get started with this uh, anthropology dress. Now, this is a very um, this uh, was a very old item in our closet. Uh, you can see it's the old picture um, before we got the photo booth because it has that uh, has that hanger that's on the nail in the wall. Um, anyway, this uh, I think we got this from a Goodwill um, trip. Uh, so this is probably from a Goodwill haul. Um, we had actually, I thought we had taken it out of our closet and we were going to try to put this in a bundle, but um, I guess uh, we forgot to, and it sold. Um, so it sold for $18. Um, we probably paid a dollar for it. Um, our posturings on it were 14 bucks, so we made $13 off of this. Okay, up next is this. Corey Birch um, striped shirt. Now this, I believe, came from a... I think it was from one of the reseller boxes we got. One of the boxes that had about about seven items in it. Um, so those boxes were running around um, $40, I think. Uh, it's, it's hard to say. My wife was paying all high and low for them, um, depending on who the person was. Anyway, this one sold for um, $25, uh, giving us posh earnings of 20 bucks. So we probably made around anywhere from 10 to $13 off of this. All right. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> That'll pet out the video. Let me just take a sip of my coffee here. Ah, oh, that's better. All right. Up next is this, um, oh man, that coffee did not help. <coughs> <coughs> oh boy. <sighs> okay, lots of um, riveting videos. Riveting entertainment. Okay, up next is this um, Wild Fox Vintage um, swimsuit. And um, this actually came from a reseller box. Um, it was a bigger box. I don't think I did videos on this. I don't think I did some videos on this box. Um, mostly because the uh, reseller didn't want to be... They didn't want to be named, so... Um, why do I have the stock photo there? Um, yeah, they didn't want to be named, so I just didn't do a video on the box. Um, anyway, this box did have a lot of swimsuits in it, which actually have sold pretty good um, for the summer. Um, I think we've sold, there was like six in there, and we've sold three of them already, so maybe as the temperature keeps rising, we'll sell more of them. Um, anyway, uh, this sold for a pretty... 
this box, um, it was roughly $6 an item. Um, our posh earn, or it sold for $60, as you can see there, uh, leaving us with a posh earnings of $48. So we made about $42 off this swimsuit. Okay, up next is these Mango by MNG um, pants. Now these came from a recent thread up box. Uh, so thread up boxes, um, as you know, it's roughly translates to $2 an item. So with the posh earnings of $17.60, um, we made $15.60 off of these pants. And um, from this point on, we are into the, uh, actually including this, this, these pants. Uh, these are the things that I shipped out today. Um, as you may have noticed, I'm a little bit, uh, a little bit wet because it is, it is coming down pretty hard outside. So um, running from my car into the post office to uh, ship these things, I got a, got a little damp. It's not helping that I'm in the basement. It's uh, the air conditioning's on, so <laughs> that's why I'm drinking some hot coffee here. All right. Up next is this uh, Free People Magic Mystery um, Boho Tunic. Uh, I believe this was from that same thread up box as those, uh... oh no, no, this was from a, uh, this was from a uh, consignment store mystery box that my wife did. Uh, so those consignment store mystery boxes, um, they run about, why did, oh, there it is. Couldn't find it on my phone here. Um, so those run about anywhere from 10 to $20 an item. So with a posh earnings of $32, we made about 17, maybe 20 bucks at most off of these. Um, so not, not bad. Um, the, those consignment store mystery boxes, they do sell a lot better than, um, pretty much anything else in our closet. Um, those boxes go really fast. I've, we've had some of them that have completely sold out. Um, and I think on every single one of them, we've managed to turn a profit um, or sold enough to where anything else we sell is just gonna be pure profit. So really happy to sell this um, and really happy to be making like that, hitting that milestone on the, um, on the selling from those boxes. Okay. Up next is this J. Crew um, shirt. Now this is a denim shirt. Um, this was from a thread up denim rescue box. It actually is from the thread up denim rescue box that we did our um, we did our verses series on, which only lasted for two videos, so it wasn't much of a series. Uh, but basically, what we did, and I'll put those videos in a card. Um, up there, I'm way up there because I'm in the corner here. Uh, anyway, that video series was us taking um, a thread up box and comparing that to a retail, a resale, um, not a resale, a Goodwill haul and seeing which one would be better for our business. Um, in the end, it didn't work out uh, mostly because it was a denim rescue box and we got all jeans and um, at the time jeans were selling really good for us but after we did that they kind of slowed down um, so it ended up not um, it ended up not really neither neither of them were, was a very good um, idea uh, maybe I'll do maybe I'll go back to that series with um, just random um, clothes or maybe I'll do like a, maybe I'll do like a um, reseller versus thread up or maybe i'll do like two uh, different services like thread up compare the two um and go back to that series but for now it just um it just didn't work out um growing pains of a youtube channel all right anyway this sold for twelve dollars um it took forever to find because the box the part of our inventory that it was in was just labeled jeans um so <laughs> not thinking that oh a De a jean shirt would be in there. It took me forever to find. Um, probably paid two dollars for it. Uh, posh earnings of nine dollars, so only made seven bucks off this. And the last piece that sold right before the cutoff um, 
This actually sold last last night. I was going to record the video yesterday, but um, kids just wouldn't, wouldn't agree to sleep for long enough, so ended up um, ended up holding off, and we sold these. Um, now these are from these were from a hundred plus item box that has not gone up yet which is a great transition um, into the announcement so in two weeks um, the 27th so the week of the tw on the 27th I am going to be putting up the first part of a hundred and eleven yeah it's a hundred and eleven item box um, I'm doing an unboxing it ended up being five parts so I'm just doing them a new a video each day of that week uh, to get them out fast to look at a hundred and eleven item box we got from Fashion Without Trashing uh, so that'll be going up um, on the 27th and then on the 28th and then I'm gonna skip the Wednesday because I have to do the what sold video but then the rest of the the Thursday Friday and Saturday um, we'll have that whole series um, so be sure to uh, be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications so you can see that when it goes up um, I'm gonna try seeing if that increases or decreases my views um, just as a little experiment to see if maybe I need to get off of the twice a week with the what sold videos so three times a week and maybe change the schedule up to do um, to do different videos um, anyway um, these sold for $35 um, coming from that box um, roughly $6 an item um, so it looks like our posh earnings were $28 $6 so we made $22 off of these pants so actually a pretty good pretty good um profit off of those i think i think we're getting close to actually paying off um for that box and you know i just finished shooting it and it's i, I mean i just finished shooting it and making videos on it so it's actually going or turning around pretty fast um so really happy about that all right so that brings us to the end so only only seven items this week um, so it was a slower week but we did have some um, personal things that we were doing so maybe we weren't just working as hard um, so hopefully now that holidays over and um, things have settled down you know we're not gonna have any company um, and you know I, the yard looks actually good because um, I took some of the time to do some yard work which now that it's raining it'll all grow back <sighs> home ownership anyway hopefully we'll turn it around next week and do even better until next time i've been charles and i'll see you